So WrestleMania happened. So WrestleMania happened. And we're gonna go through every match and every emotion and every detail of it. And we're gonna review it basically from start to finish. And it started with the Cruiserweight Champion match between Neville and Austin Aries. Neville won in a healy way by hurting eyes of Aries, which was okay, I guess. For a pre-show match, it was decent. Nothing special, but if WWE doesn't really care about this division, neither should we. So let's move on. Um, then there was the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle, Battle Royale. So our prediction was to Braun Strowman for, to win it, but he was eliminated. He and the Big Show were eliminated before even the Brizango duo, which was great booking. WWE nicely done. But Mojo Rally winning was underwhelming kind of promotion for WWE and Mojo, but nobody buys that. that. You should give the win to the best which was Braun Strowman, and eliminating him so early and not giving him anything else past that point is just plain stupid and wrong. Then the last of the pre-show matches were for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, first of all, I gotta say it somewhere, so I'm gonna say it here. Um, having David Otanga on the, comment on the commentary team for WrestleMania is laughable and you could leave but em empty chair and it's gonna just deliver as much as David Otanga. Uh, Ambrose won, but probably shouldn't have won. Don't know where their feud's gonna go. Don't, hopefully it will go separate ways from them. They're just gonna split. It was underwhelming, it was boring, it was slow, it was not going anywhere, it wasn't delivering, nothing special. Then Shane McMahon was versus AJ Styles. Shane indeed not only jumped around, but also wrestled, which was probably the biggest um, WrestleMania moment ever. It wasn't actually much more entertaining and much more delivering than I thought it will be. Styles was awesome. Shane was awesome. Styles won, which was great. Shane, I think, can now get a push even for a title. Why not? He just showed us that he's probably at his best condition ever. And he, he's at his best wrestling skills. So why not push and give him Intercontinental Championship or something? Yeah, all around good match. Delivered, over delivered even. Yeah, hopefully they both will get a push now, if Shane has the time and desire. Why not? Then there was the United States Championship. Chris Jericho the champion against Kevin Owens. Owens won clean, kinda clean. With the Healy move, but legal move. The whole story, the whole entrances were great. But I felt underwhelming and not as exciting and not as emotional enough. For such an awesome feud. Kevin Owens was awesome, yelling at Jericho. Jericho was great. In the end it felt like not an exclamation mark in this story, but an, a period, you know. Thanks that we got what we got, thanks to Jericho, thanks for Owens. So then, bro, women's championship happened. We got more, whoa, friendship bullshit because Bailey won. Even though Charlotte is obviously the best. And even Sasha Banks would have been better. But we ended up got having no feud coming from this one. Nia Jax was fun. Even though she's like the strongest probably. So she can get a push. She, she looked nice. Bailey was like for five or six minutes away from the ring. Because when Charlotte and Sasha were on the ring fighting. So I don't know what kind of champion does that. But boring probably. I hope, I hope it's not gonna last forever. It's the next possible time. I mean, you gave her the her WrestleMania championship moment. That's about it. Enough. Let's give the championship to Naya. And then she's just gonna destroy everyone. So when someone will beat Naya, it's gonna be the biggest star, the biggest win ever. Okay, let's do that. Then the Raw Tag Team Championship happened. And Hardy Boys came back and... When we saw that this match was moved to the middle card and when the New Day came out, everyone went, well, that's gonna happen, even though the rumors were that they're gonna come after WrestleMania, maybe at the Raw after WrestleMania. We got ourselves ladder match, which was great. Great entrance from Hardy, great match, great, great delete. Great future for the division. Don't know if they're gonna split them, but so far... It's great because we got so stagnant in this division. So Hardy Boys obviously is gonna are gonna deliver, and everyone's gonna be happy. And hell yeah! Then John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Miss and Maurice. Uh, what I liked is that Miss was feeding from crowd greatly. 
he destroyed Cena for a few minutes, which was awesome. I also didn't like that Maurice had no any wrestling involved. I think she only slapped John Cena and that's about it. She couldn't probably like hurt Nikki Bella. Yeah, as we predicted, WWE gave Cena the win, which elevated nobody but them. And they're gonna leave right now because wedding and stuff ending was exactly as on SmackDown. Because writing wrestling is hard. Then the everyone rumored proposal happened. Nobody was surprised. Kind of fake and boring and expected. Everyone's happy for them, but uh, Miss and Maurice looked much stronger coming to WrestleMania than them. So obviously giving them, giving Cena a win. Hope my recent Miss can be still around and enjoy and entertain us. So how Miss is gonna claim he's the best in the world and all that, and, but nobody knows. Um, so then was Seth Rollins versus Triple H. Prediction master over here. Uh, but interference gave Rollins the win. Interference from Steph. Very hard match, even though Triple H was exploiting injury. It's okay. Uh, very cool entrances from both of them. Tension was until the end, which is great. Best match of the evening. One of the best, for sure. Pedigree all over the place from both of them. Yeah, great, great, great WrestleMania match. Solid. Great ending. Right ending. So that's good. It's gonna push Seth higher, which can end up viewing with someone from Hardy Boys and or maybe even a new champion. Triple, Triple H maybe will vacate for a bit and then come back. Who knows? Now, the next one was for WWE Champion. Probably one of the weakest match. Bray for sure deserved more. Apart from the cool uh, trajectory on the ring. Pretty boring match, honestly. We don't really need another Orton Championship reign. So I call bullshit on this one. Don't know where this is gonna go. Why they destroyed Wyatt's just started legacy. No idea. He won clean. Just why? What the hell? Anyway, let's move on. And I'm gonna cry for Bray Wyatt. Then the Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Again, my prediction was exactly right. Fight wasn't as long as I thought it's gonna be, but we got some wrestling from Goldberg, which is good. Uh, probably could have got more grapples and submissions from both of them, but it was fun, entertaining, and the right length, and the right ending. Lesnar kicking out out of Jack Hammer and Spears was good. Just as what he needed. But just small, 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 small complaint. Um, I thought that neither Brock nor Heyman really, really celebrated and made a big deal out of winning this one. Which was strange. Goldberg just dominated for this past time, when Lesnar um, was like an unbeatable someone, someone as unbeatable as nobody basically. I thought they could have uh, made a better scene out of it, but just a minor complaint. Great, just as it should have been booked, honestly. That's all we ask, it's not hard to deliver. Lesnar's gonna feud with someone worthy, Goldberg's gonna retire, at least for some time, or probably forever, or maybe just on a hiatus. On a hiatus. So yeah, we, we got that. Will Heyman stay? With, will Heyman stay with Lesnar? That's interesting. Maybe Heyman will be with Hardy Boys. Oh <gasps> no! Then there was the SmackDown Women's Championship. When they moved it to the later on the card, it was pretty obvious that Naomi is gonna win, especially after the entrance. Yeah. But since nobody cares about this division, so you can just give it to anyone. Match was okay, it was pretty tense, it was fast. But the ending was too one-sided from Naomi. She jumped on everyone, she used the submission, she danced, she did the splits. She, 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 let's move on. And the last one, but the most important one. We all know what happened, so um, let's just get this straight. Reigns probably won the worst way possible he could have won. Uh, he won clean after surviving a bunch of finishers. He did not really sell anything with his emotions, face, 
I mean, he was like shocked when Undertaker Undertaker kick out of Spears, but it wasn't selling anything. Sorry. So yeah, we got that, but nobody wanted it that way. Even though everyone thought it's gonna be exactly this way as it happened, which is in theory should be good booking. But when your audience know that they're gonna be upset about the ending, and do you exactly deliver it as they thought? Why? Was really again? You could replace Reigns with anyone. Wyatt, Luke Harper. Not probably Luke Harper, but maybe Luke Harper if you elevate him before that enough. Thanks to Undertaker for what he did and actually wrestled because they uh, everyone thought that he's too injured to do basically anything on the ring. Great ending, uh, great farewell, great retirement. Can't ask for more from Undertaker. He probably should have retired a few years ago, but this retirement segment is probably one of the most emotional, one of the best segments of the WrestleMania for many, many years to come. It's sad to see him go, but it is the right time. It's just not the right, it's even the right place. It's not just the right uh, match to retire. Just replace him with anyone. Even even if he loses, we don't really care about that one. Just it leaves this bad taste in the mouth after Reigns, because Reigns leave it uh, every time. Everyone is tired of Reigns, everyone tired of, tired of man, Vince. Not sure Reigns has any future in the company. Uh, yeah, the audience reaction to the future Reigns appearance is gonna be interesting. How loud can they be? How unforgiving can they be? Overall, uh, really good WrestleMania, I liked it. I think it was too long, especially with some pitbull in it. Music, shit. New Day was okay. New Day was overused a long time ago, but okay. We got some really good matches like, like Seth Rollins and Triple H. We got Hardy Boys. We got Shane McMahon. We got AJ Styles. We got Brock Lesnar. We got Undertaker retirement, obviously. We got Randy Orton as new champion, which hopefully is gonna lead to something interesting because Randy Orton cannot deliver on himself. Um, Neville's gonna be fun. Who's gonna win? Neville's gonna be like champion forever. So do they have someone to replace him as the face of the division? Chris Jericho's gonna go. Kevin Owens gonna stay and deliver, which is good. That's it, guys. I think I don't have, I don't have anything to say about WrestleMania. Overall, again, liked it too long, but um, the fact that Reigns won and yeah, it left a bad taste in the mouth, but I like that the last 10 minutes were probably the most emotional, which is the most important. Not the Reigns won or how he won, that he won at all. The fact that one of the greatest wrestlers of all time retired and be one of the most memorable moments from this WrestleMania, and it should be that way. Not that Reigns won. It was about Undertaker, it was about how he's gonna retire. He did, he did it in a good, good way. We're gonna remember him. I think that's how this WrestleMania is going to be remembered about retirement of Undertaker. If Goldberg, if it's last Goldberg WrestleMania, maybe it will be too, but it is the Undertaker's moment and he deserved it, he earned it, he played it, he sell sold it. Thank you. I think that's it guys. Bye. I tried to make it make it as fast as Short as possible, but it's WrestleMania, big deal, guys. WrestleMania was long, you know. It was like six hours or seven. 19 hours. Fuck off, Reigns.